Hi, I'm Nicole Balanda. I work at Rockwell Automation as the Customer Advocacy Program Manager, and I'm here to talk to you about results achieved. I'm joined today by Terrace from QCA Systems to talk about some of the results that they've achieved with a key partner of theirs. Hi, Terrace. Hi, Nicole. How are you doing? I'm good. It's so nice to see you. Can you tell everyone what your role is at QCA and what QCA does? Yeah, of course. So um, I am a systems engineer with QCA Systems. Uh, my role is essentially around controls engineering and data information systems. Uh, QCA, we've been around for over 30 years. Uh, we are a major player in uh, electrical engineering and automation industry. Uh, we work with uh, ports, uh, mining and uh, machinery, as well as other infrastructure projects. Uh, most of our projects range from a couple thousand of dollars to millions of dollars. And um, we're really proud to say that we're uh, Rockwall Gold Level Automator. Yes, we're very happy to have you as part of our partner network. You're doing some really neat things with some of your customers. Mm -hmm. Let's talk specifically about Neptune Bulk Terminals because that project was super cool. Okay. Um, what was the problem that they came to you with? Yes, of course. So uh, just for some context, ne Neptune Bulk Terminals is one of the uh, we ship the finest coal uh, from Western Canada mines uh, all the way to manufacturers globally. Uh, so uh, they came to us and the need was, well, first off, to uh, improve the throughput of the site up almost threefold. And also because they're such a major player in the, the mining market, uh, it's critical that for them to minimize downtime. So another problem was they wanted to make sure that um, most of the equipment was, uh, was up and running uh, while that um, upgrade and uh, new equipment process was, was on the way. Got it. And so what did QCA suggest as, I mean, those are some high goals, three times yeah. the throughput. Yeah. How did you guys solve that? So we came in early uh, as uh, a, uh, an automated automation contractor. Um, and so the first thing that we did was make sure that we sat with the vendors to uh, implement uh, standards, interfacing standards across the site, uh, so to make sure that everyone's kind of on the same board as, as of what we're trying to achieve. Uh, the second thing that we did was we uh, wrote out operational uh, philosophies, and what these do is they provide a, a kind of a high-level overview and guideline of how each equipment is to operate as well as how it operates within the system, and so that provides a really good um, way for anyone who's in the electrical design, who's an automator, or who's also in uh, information systems to be able to work on their uh, systems individually, uh, as well as having an overall idea of what was gonna happen. Um, and then also uh, another thing that we did was we simulated all our um, tests in a, in a simulation uh, virtual environment, um, working with the Rockwell two sets uh, and making sure that um, this was to improve efficiency as well as to uh, minimize the startup time and the commissioning time, because that's usually where you see a lot of your a lot of your downtime. Mm -hmm. I love that Neptune Bulk Terminals was forward thinking enough to put an automation, like what did you call it, an automation contractor? Or? Yeah, as an automation contractor yeah, to understand the need uh, that 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 is uh, that you generally comes in at the end, but that usually where you might see a lot of your you know, time go to and, and your efforts delay. So it, it was really uh, great to come in at that level and to come in early and to lay out, you know, kind of like an overview of what well, this is what we were going to do. I'm um, also just saying that uh, Rockwell had um, a, a pretty good install base of, of, pro of Rockwell products at the site already. Uh, so it made it easier uh, to uh, navigate that session. That's very good. Yeah, the, good for them for thinking of that ahead of time to save the rework later in the project if things yeah. didn't line up exactly as planned. Mm -hmm. um, you also mentioned virtual testing. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Exactly, yeah. So what we did was we did uh, in-house uh, uh, factory acceptance tests, and we also did uh, site acceptance tests, uh, which we showed to the clients before before any of the uh, major commissioning sessions were done. And so what this proved to them and to us is how efficiently the commissioning process was gonna go and how the system was gonna run once everything was up and running. That's nice. Yeah. So they are up and running now, right? They, they are up and running. They have, uh, it's, it's great to say we finished the project in time as well as in budget, so that's always nice. That's always nice. <laughs> yeah, that's always <laughs> nice. And uh, of course, the uh, the Neptune right now, have, they've reached and even surpassed their, their tonnage goals. Um, so with high equipment availability as well. Uh, so what we're doing actually as next steps is we are um, currently virtualizing 
uh, the creating virtual models of the equipment in the, in the site. And what we aim to do with that is to uh, move from a, a reactive maintenance model system to a predictive and uh, pre preventative maintenance model system. So that way we can actually create these anomaly engines that track and monitor the equipment and can predict when the equipment could have a possible failure. And so we're ahead of that. I love that. So not only did you deliver the project, met the goals three times throughput, even a little bit better. It sounds yeah. like yeah. awesome. Yeah. Not a lot of downtime. That's great, but now we have an ongoing project as a result of that to try to figure out predicted maintenance. Yes, and that's great because we're utilizing the Factory Talk Innovation Suite to, to do this as well. Uh, so it's it's just really uh, you know fun when you use you have all these tools available to you, uh, which can help you reach these goals of the client and even surpass them. Right. So great, Terrace. Thanks so much. It's always nice to see you, and I appreciate you sharing the work QCA Systems is doing. That was a really fun example of yeah. results achieved. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.